Dynamic trunking protocol, Cisco Discovery protocol, spanning tree are all sent over the native VLAN and by default all ports are in the native VLAN for your uh, switches. So this represents a security vulnerability that you as the network administrator need to do something about. So we'll use packet tracer and drag two switches up to our canvas here. I'll connect them with a crossover cable, fast ethernet to fast ethernet. And what we'll need to do is have this link configured as a trunk link. And then what we'll do is we'll change the native VLAN that's used across this trunk link. So this will give us just another layer of protection among others you'll be using on your uh, local area network. We've already covered port security and shutting down and use ports. There are other steps that aren't covered in the syllabus, like uh, adding passwords to your VTP. All right, so I'll call this one host switch zero. It's the left switch. On the left on, on the left interface, fast ethernet zero slash one, I'll issue switch port mode trunk. So a trunk link can carry multiple VLANs across the uh, switch fabric. And you can see show interfaces trunk shows us that fast ethernet zero slash one is a trunk and the native VLAN as you can see there is uh, one. So this is an issue for us. Show interface fast ethernet zero slash one switch port shows you the layer two settings. You can see it's set to trunk, but also again, the native VLAN here is a one. So what we'll do is go back into configuration mode. We'll create VLAN 10. And the command switch uh, interface fast ethernet zero slash one switch port trunk native VLAN 10. So you wouldn't have hosts in this VLAN. You would uh, just be using it for the connection between your two trunks. So it just gives you a um, more secure um, local area network here. Now you do need to change it on the other side because it needs to match on either side of the trunk. So what you'll see is error messages printed on your screen, such as the one that just popped up here. Native VLAN discovered on fast ethernet zero slash one in brackets 10 is our native VLAN and one in brackets is the other end and that is the, the native VLAN for the other side. So it's the same command on switch one that you'll need to uh, configure. You can see our native VLAN here now is uh, 10. So quick configuration on the other side. It's already a trunk link. Switch for a trunk native VLAN 10. And then obviously you can use the same uh, show commands. Uh, port consistency restored so you can see the link has come up. Alright, so we're at the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.